everybody got a new video for you today please subscribe to this new channel it is 10 things not to do with your zippo and uh it's gonna go over a little bit of everything a little bit of safety a little bit of zippo etiquette and uh, what other people might think uh, so this is how you're going to probably use it and if you're watching this video, you're probably new to Zippo So uh, go to my channel. There's tons of content and on my other main channel, too You can go there. I have lots of good information and lots of good uh, Content on what you should be doing with your Zippo. So but I do not have a list of things not to do with your Zippo So here is the number 10 uh, Do not let your Zippo run out of fluid uh if you do that, I want to show you and I'm going to tell you why. Always just put it like, I know people want it to last long. You don't want to do the maintenance. But I'm telling you, if you do the maintenance, your Zippo experience will be a lot better. Uh, I always do tests. So people think that I just, you what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put the fluid in, let it run until it runs out and then fill it up. Uh, no, and I'm going to show you why. Look how charred and black the wick gets from doing that. Uh, this was a test insert, so I always test it and I always fill it to let it run out. That's actually not how I really use a Zippo. How I actually use it is for tests, yes, I let it run the whole length to see how many days I get. But when I'm actually using it, I fill it up once a week. And I always, sometimes every few days, I'll put a couple drops on the wick for the day. I'll just open my fluid, two drops, that's it. And I'll uh, let that go. Uh, a lot of the times, keeping your wick saturated is the best thing you're going to do. And to prevent it from getting black and that buildup, you're always going to want to keep your fluid full. Don't worry, Zippo fluid is cheap. It's only a couple dollars and it lasts a long time. A, how many ounces is this? Four and a half ounce bottle will last me six to seven months. So uh, filling it up once a week isn't a big deal, guys. So that is number 10. Number nine, this is this is just a pet peeve of mine. This is what people do, and a lot of Zippo collectors will agree with me. Do not call vintage look a 1937 replica just because you've seen it on eBay. <laughs> All right, they don't make a, a 37 replica. This is a vintage look. Uh, I have a video on it on my main channel. You can go check it out. It's uh, There is no 37 replica. You can go check that out. Uh, it's just a lot of misinformation and people from old... Uh, sets uh, that labeled them that and that was it and that's what started the whole thing uh and now number eight don't be gentle with your zippo if you want to use a zippo don't be gentle with it uh, they're made out of steel and brass and uh they're extremely durable and tough just like this 41 replica here one of my favorites it's the black crackle uh my dad used this for months i bought it i never even used it i gave it to him and he used it and then uh, he put a scratch on it, and it's, he didn't want to carry it anymore. I don't know where the scratch is right now, but there's like a little scratch on here somewhere, and it bugged him. He didn't want to carry it anymore. But, uh, so don't be gentle with them. Uh, using a Zippo is an experience. It's something you're going to love to do, and uh, uh, they're just a handy tool to always have around a million uses. Even if you don't smoke, like I still carry one. It's just, I use it all the time. I'm always, you know, out in the bush frame rope, lighting fires, doing whatever. I need one all the time. So uh, there is a lot of reasons to carry one and it, that's not for smoking. Uh, it is, I use the Zippo as a tool. That's what I think of it as. I don't think it as a as paraphernalia or anything like that. Uh, and now, so number seven. Uh, do not everyday carry valuable or expensive or rare or vintage Zippo that you don't want to lose or damage because like I said in rule number eight, don't want to be gentle with your everyday carry. All right. Like you can have nice ones in your collection like I do that you never carry. They're just for looks. You, you have an appeal to them. Uh, but your everyday carry, you want to be able to beat around, use it. Like my rose gold here, uh, it's got scratches in it now. I, I totally used and abused this lighter. But trust me, this thing is tough and it holds up. It just always does. And, uh, you know, I have no hinge issues, no nothing. I do mad tricks on here. I use it a lot. I drop it a lot. There's dings and dents. There's a little dent on the bottom there. It's actually kind of sharp. Uh, don't be gentle with them. Don't use one that you don't want to lose. And... Uh, the nice thing about that too is if you're using like if you're using like say a, a regular brushed chrome they're like ten dollars okay you're using a walmart zippo just to, as an everyday carry the nice thing is if somebody you know if somebody likes a zippo and if you didn't care to lose that zippo you can give it to them and then you can get them started into zippos you know what i mean it's a it's a it's a fun trade-off so don't always everyday carry your nicest zippos use those on special occasions i do bring my i do bring mine out like this Zippo right here, this rose gold deep carve armor was $100 Canadian. Uh, love this lighter. 
and I do bring it out a lot. Uh, whenever I leave, I usually bring it out. But around the house, I'm doing a lot of things. I don't like to use it because I drop it a lot around the house. When I go out, it sits in my pocket. It doesn't really fall around as much as it does at the house. And now, number six, <laughs> don't expect others to like Zippos the same way you do. Uh, you, you will get heartbroken. You know what I mean? Uh, most people don't care what lighter you carry. But I'll tell you one thing. Uh, carrying a Zippo is a little more classy than a Bic lighter. You know what I mean? Like... Uh, you know, unfortunately, that's just the way it is. They're a little more expensive. They're a little more maintenance. Uh, people, you know, on the lower tier level, they might not want to do the maintenance and they might not even be able to afford one. And uh, so, you know, it's kind of like a, it's like a sign of, you know, a little maturity, a little upgrading in life, a little advancement. And uh, people aren't going to be into Zippos like you are. Uh, that's that's the one main takeaway and you're going to have to deal with is people aren't going to think that these custom Zippos are as cool as you do or anything like that, you know, or they're not going to care that you do tricks with them. You know what I mean? People, people just don't care. So don't get into them because you think other people might think they're cool because that, that's, that's not going to turn out too good for you. All right. All right. So now number five, don't ever touch the chimney when you... If you light this just for a few seconds, I'm sorry, there's no fluid in here. Uh, if you light this just for a few seconds, like about five to seven seconds, okay, and then you put it out and you open it again and you put your thumb on the chimney or you touch the chimney, you're going to burn yourself. This is hot. Uh, don't let it, don't think for a second just because you smothered it that it's not hot. Uh, don't ever do that. <laughs> I, I know a lot of people for the first time not knowing uh, and they do touch the chimney and burn themselves after they've been using it. So uh, always be careful of that. And now, number four, leave running. This is an important one. Uh, do, uh, a Zippo, the nice thing about it is, is it's a hands-free. It's a, uh, I'm going to use this one. It's a hands-free thing, okay? You can you can open it, light it, and it'll just keep lighting. You can sit it there, and it'll it'll be held there lighting. Uh, but Cutlery Lover, he has a video on it where he does that, and some not-so-great things happen. Uh, you should go check out that video if you want to know what happens, but... Uh, it basically, you know, can damage the lighter. It can cause hazards and things like that. So don't leave it running like that. Uh, don't like you can leave it running, you know, for a minute or so or, you know, a few minutes. Uh, don't leave it running for an extended period of time is the whole purpose of that. And uh, number three, do not use the insert from Zippo. If you watch any of my videos, you will see when you buy a brand new Zippo, you will take the insert out. And you will open it. You will notice that the wick is all stuffed and cramped up at the top. That is not good. You got to take it out and repack it all. Uh, I have a video on that on this channel here. You can go check it out. I'll put a link in the description for it on how to repack it properly. But trust me, if it will ruin your Zippo experience because you're going to get less fluid life. It's going to last less. And uh, you're not going to get as good as results with it because the wick is never actually properly saturated like it should be. So you got to remove the cotton and move it around a bit and replace the wick in a different position. Uh, it's really easy to do. I make the video so you can see exactly how I do it. It only takes a few minutes of time. It's not a big deal. Uh, you should probably do that. Uh, so make sure you always repack your inserts brand new from Zippo. Uh, if you really care about it and you want to get the best experience you can out of it and really get a feel for it. All right. So now number two, do not abuse the warranty. All right. I seen people do this and I do not like it. Uh, they will buy a ex more expensive Zippo, like a solid brass armor. Like this was a solid brass Chrome, but I took the Chrome off and I did this. This was one of my first customs I ever did. Uh, they will take them and they will use them. And then once the brass tarnish wears off or something like that, or the chrome gets scratched, they'll smash it, send it back to Zippo to get a new one. And that's, that's bad. That's, that's abusing the warranty. And that's just cruel to do because Zippo is a great company who really, really cares about their, uh, who really cares about their customers and their, their customer relations and consumer relations or whatever is just second to none. Like they, they're the best. You can call them, email them. They're going to respond to you, talk to you, uh, go out of their way to help you. It's, if you go back on my own channel, like there's so many ways, so many nice things they've done to me they didn't have to do. Uh, and they just go up and above and beyond for their customers. You can't, you can't really deny it. So don't be one of those guys who just buys a Zippo and then will just keep using it until it doesn't look good anymore and then smash it and send it back. Don't be that guy. Uh, that's not cool. Do not abuse the Zippo warranty or like people who really need to use it will lose that availability to the warranty, right? If too many people do that. So please do not abuse the warranty. And now number one, <laughs> the number one, do not. Now this is, 
this is just a pet peeve for me. Like other people might not agree. But for me, this makes me furious when people do this. They come up to me. They don't carry a Zippo. They ask to see my Zippo and to do a trick. And this is the trick they do. They do this. Oh, look at my cool trick, guys. Oh, oh, see you guys do trick. Like, don't don't come to me and do that and then drop my Zippo and put a dent in it or scratch it either because you don't know what you're doing. Or light it on your jeans or you do the one and do that. Like, buddy, I used to do that when I was six years old, man. Don't ask me for my Zippo and then do that <laughs> do that crap with it. You look like a fool. Uh, and like, especially because people do that to me and they have no idea I have this YouTube channel. They have no idea that I'm the trick king. Like, I could do whatever trick and... Uh, I invent tricks and come up with new tricks and like I got all sorts of tricks, right? I, I'm really good with my hands. I can do Zippo tricks really well. You come up to me and you do that. And you you pull that crap and I do this. You're gonna look like a fool. <laughs> you're gonna look like a fool first off, and it just infuriates me because you don't even use a Zippo. So don't ask another Zippo guy to do a trick with his Zippo. If you do Zippo tricks, carry your own Zippo then to show people how to do tricks. Uh, don't come up ask me for mine. Uh, you know, like. It's to the point where, like, I'm getting ready to fight you. <laughs> you come you come ask me to do a trick and you pull that. Like, I ain't giving you my Zippo. I've, I've learned my lesson already from people doing this to me at places. And, like, I, I, I don't, I'm not that guy that goes out to parties and is like, oh, look at all my Zippo tricks and do tricks and stuff. I don't, I, I don't show anybody that. I don't do that. Uh, I just don't like to. Uh, but when someone does that though, when someone comes up to me and does that, then I'm like, oh, you want to see some tricks, do you? <laughs> and then, you know what I mean? I blow it out the water and they, they just look like a fool. But, uh, so those are my 10 do nots, uh, for Zippos. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please comment down, uh, what else you think, uh, what you liked, what maybe I missed. Uh, I really appreciate it guys. Everyone take care, have a good time and I will see you in the next one.